Alrighty, so let's look at some Bridges Math, fourth grade. This is unit six, and we're reviewing a lot of the multiplication and division strategies we've been working on for a while now. So let's go in here to number one, <clears throat> and we have a couple of arrays or area models for multiplication. So here I have the um, inside area numbers, but I need to figure out the outside dimensions. So if this is 24 and this is 3, 24 divided by 3 would give me what? That is going to be 8. And now to figure out this one, <clears throat> 8 times what equals 160? Just think about 8 times what is 16 to help you out there. And then you're going to have whatever is uh, here together uh, times 8 equals whatever <clears throat> these two added together are. And then here, now we, we now have the um, outside in dimensions. So 26 times 10 is going to give you 260. Then times 5 is going to be just half of that, right? <clears throat> and then you have 26 times that equals whatever you have together there. Next up, we're going to do some ratio tables and um, arrays or area models to solve this. So let's start by doing maybe we'll go up to 10 which would give me 70. If I do 20 next, I have 140, and I'm just working my way up to 224 to figure out what that is. Next up, um, if I make the same um, one that they just gave me, that gives me another 400. I'm aiming for... 816 so I just need to make a small rectangle next and how much more do I need and then your answer is going to be these numbers up top <clears throat> so there's that now the next uh, two four and five we're looking at different methods this is doubling and halving so if 35 is doubled to 70 14 needs to be halved. So what is half of 14? And then you're going to have 70, and then whatever is in here would go there. And then you should be able to solve that in your head when you get over here. If we add in the over method or partial products, we have some other ways of doing multiplication. <clears throat> so look at this and see which what method they're trying to do. So here we have 39 times 7. And they're going a little bit over 39 to 40. And then what would they subtract? They would subtract 1, because 40 minus 1 is 39. And that is the over method. And then we have the same exact one here, 39 times 7. But this time, they're splitting it into something times 7 and 9 times 7. So if you'd split that up, that would be 30. And that is what we call partial products. Um, the next one I'll let you do on your own, but over here we have what's going on. 25 times 12 is equal to 50 times what? Well, we just doubled 25 to 50, so that we must have 12. So what is half of 12? You get that, and the method is what we call doubling and halving. Okay, then uh, the other ones do on your own, and then we have this problem here for Ray. So Ray's goal is to solve... 700 problems on IXL. So in May, 31 days, she solved 12 problems a day. And in the first couple weeks of June, for 14 days, she solved 15 problems a day. So how close is she to her goal? So we need to do 31 times 12 and 14 times 15, however you want to. So you could, 31 times 12, you could do doubling and halving there to make it easier, or you could just go straight into maybe partial products if you can do that. And figure out what you got there. And then <clears throat> for this one, uh, this is actually a mistake, but you'll notice this is the same, not a mistake, a coincidence. This is the same thing here. So if you do doubling and halving for that, <clears throat> you're gonna be able to solve it pretty easy. And then you're gonna have, uh, let's see, a number here <clears throat> and a number here. And put those together and then is she to 700 yet? So whatever you, when you add these two numbers together, it's going to be that plus what equals 700. 
Or you could do it the other way. You could do 700 minus whatever she solved equals the answer here. So how many more problems does she need? And that is that. So thank you and goodbye.